What we've basically got up in the air there is a turbine. Um, that's kicking in uh, at, well, at the moment, it's about five knots, so it starts uh, uh, charging at about five knots. It's sending the energy to uh, a regulator, which is managing the system, um, into a battery uh, bank. Then the energy is coming from the batteries into a Renault Clio fan, which is the, the fan that goes behind the dashboard of the car, that blows the, the air into the, the car to keep it warm or cool, or the, the demisters. We've got a shut-off valve here, which can shut the air off. It travels down inside this water-cooled back bosch. It's full of water, and there's a ch uh, chew iron, which I've fabricated the whole setup here just for children to use. The air is passed through a, a tube where the water can't get to, but as it, as it goes passes through, you can't see it in there, but it's a thin tube that goes through into a large six inch pipe which is full of water, which you can see down the gap there, which passes through into the fire through this side, and it blasts the air into the fire, and then the coke gets hot, and the metal gets hot, and then I can go onto the anvil and forge with it. I'm going to cut this bit off because it's burnt in the fire because we were talking too long. <laughs> so this forge is actually working like a conventional fire. The only difference is, is that the air blast going into it is renewable. It's um, not a little boy working a bellows which is still green but basically it's um, promoting the fact that we can use renewable energy to combine with a traditional craft um, so you can go on making tools using air power and solar power and water power too. What I'm doing here is this section is uh, 10 mil square and I'm going to jump up the end of the material to make it fatter. to keep the heat in there the whole time because the anvil sucks all the heat out of the material. So I'll put it in the fire again. Yeah, this is just basically a miniature version of a forge so it's a lot lower. A small little vice on, on there and the tongs have all been made from old horseshoes. Um, so you can recycle horseshoes and make tools out of them. So any little bit of metal that you can find on the floor you can actually reforge it into things, that's a good thing about blacksmith. almost like it's always been green and um, renewable in that You can actually see the material getting fatter on the end. scarf on the end and this is what we call the scarf because it's just like I'll show you when I put it back in the fire for joining two bits of metal together in the fire it's, it's called forge welding and it's the ancient way of joining two bits of metal together without any electrical equipment I'm just going to quench this now because it's finished. And what we've got there is a little bit like my hand here. So if we've got two bits of metal we want to join together, we do two of these and we put them in the fire face down which would be like this and you get them at molten heat on that end and you bring them both out and then you join them together like this and fire weld them together so they become one. That's it. Is that a packet? Yeah.